so my Lancome lipstick collection is here. <laughs> I am so happy, so excited, so honored, so accomplished with this collection because it is a big deal for me. Collaborating with such an iconic beauty brand, which is Lancome, and being the first person to have their name on a Lancome product. Yes, you guys, it's the first time that Lancome creates a product with someone else. Yes, they have uh, huge faces representing their products like Julia Roberts, Penelope Cruz, and more, but it's the first time that they have someone's name on their packaging. And I'm so honored that I am that person that they chose me to do this collection. I feel really grateful. God has blessed me so much. I feel honored and yeah, it's a big responsibility. So I really hope that you guys get these lipsticks. I hope you play with it. I hope you love the colors. All of these colors that I created for the brand, all of these colors that I created for the collection, they are colors that are on my everyday, colors that I use the most and colors that will work for any skin tone. I really, when I go through the colors you will see, um, I really thought of every skin tone from the most fair white skin tone to the darkest skin tone and also the Latinas, the olive skin like me. So I am very satisfied, very happy. I'm so happy that Lancome really let me put all of my ideas on the table and create the colors that I've always wanted to create. Even on the packaging with the lip, something that's super new. Uh, they changed the packaging color. The box has my name on it. So everything uh, on this lipstick collection was created with so much love and it's very, very, very me. And before I show you guys all of the colors, I'm already wearing one of them, uh, which is Coro de Janeiro. And I'll talk about the names, why I chose the names and um, everything on the video. But I did want to share something with you guys that I haven't really shared before. I have given interviews and talked about it, but I, have, I haven't really shared it on YouTube, which is a little bit of my story and why this collection is so important to me. When I started YouTube, I was working on a department store selling makeup. Yes, and it was at the makeup counter where I found my love and passion for beauty, for makeup. It was the reason why I decided to start YouTube and sharing everything that I knew. And it was after working at a makeup counter that I decided to become a makeup artist and then create my YouTube channel to share tips and tricks. And this was way back eight years ago. A lot of people that follow me here today probably uh, used to follow me back then, but a lot of people also are new. But yes, every little accomplishment uh, in my life I look back you know to where I started to where I used to be and where I am now I was selling lipstick I was selling makeup and now I am creating my own lipstick collection with such an iconic brand like Lancome and a lot of people might ask why why did you work at a makeup counter how did that happen so just making it really quickly I really want to share this story so I moved to Pennsylvania with my family I was 14 years old so I started high school there. My parents were divorced and so my mom was just working really hard. Me and my siblings were going to school and I was always like very geek in school, you know. I would be, I was on a road student for the four years of high school. My mom was uh, very happy about it. I would get great grades. I've always loved school and I was sure that one day I would leave high school and go to college, which is normal. And so uh, at the end of the last year of high school, I decided that I did not want to stay in Pennsylvania because there was nothing going on and I just really wanted to move out either to New York or Boston I had an aunt in Boston and so Boston was really like in my head when it was time to apply for college I told my mom mom I do not want to apply for college right now I really want to figure things out what I really want to do I don't want to apply and go to school for something and not do it after which is really natural for a teenager you don't know what exactly you want so my mom since I was so such a geek in school my mom was shocked and she did not agree with me she was very upset and so even though my mom wasn't agreeing with me it was what my heart was telling me I just wanted to move out figure out if if Boston was really the place where I wanted to go to college figure out what exactly what I wanted to do but I just wanted to move out I thought if I stayed there I'll probably get stuck there and it was just what I wanted what my heart told me to do and I told my mom it was super hard but I told her mom I know you don't agree with me but I promise you that I will make you proud and I looked in her eyes and I told her that and I never forgot about that because it was such a strong moment leaving my mom going to Boston 
and promising her that. So I kept that in. And so making the story short, I promised her that and I did make her proud. <laughs> and I really believe in God and that he has blessed me so much throughout these years. You know, when I moved to Boston, I had the opportunity to work at a makeup counter. I went, I worked until I figured things out. And it was there where I found my passion for beauty, where I decided to become a makeup artist. And from then, when I decided to create my channel, which I didn't really expect anything from it, it was just a hobby, but from that, if I didn't make that decision then, I would not be here today, I'm sure about that. Sometimes your heart tells you to do something and really you have to go for it, you have to do it. When your heart really, really is telling you to make a decision, to do it, you have to believe in yourself and you have to do it, you have to be strong and you have to be focused and things will happen. And this, not just like when you're a teenager, but in general in life. I feel like you have to go with your gut sometimes, you have to make decisions when people are telling you not to do it, they're not capable, don't listen to them. Because you are capable and you are strong. If you believe in yourself, first of all, you are going to be able to do it and you will find your passion, you will accomplish things that you never thought you could do. So that's the moral of the story that I wanted to tell you guys, I never expected to do what I have been doing these years. And again, if I didn't make that decision back then, I probably wouldn't be here today. And I am thankful every single day, especially to God uh, for blessing me on going on the right path and putting the right people on my way, my life, like my friends, my family, my team. And I'm so thankful to you guys because without you, um, this, none of this would have happened so um i know I'm, i got super emotional but it's just like my story and i wanted to share a little with you guys so that you know the importance of each accomplishment of mine not just this lancome collection but everything that i have accomplished before it is a big deal every little step that i make it's like whoa i did it it's a big accomplishment and so i am really happy i feel so accomplished and i really really hope that you guys love these colors that i created for you with my expertise and beauty so yeah let's get to the colors uh, sorry that I got a bit emotional there <laughs> but yes you guys I am thankful every day and it's very important to be thankful for your life even though sometimes you're going through struggles and hard times you have to you know lay in your bed every night and say thank you God for my life for my health for my family for my friends for the biggest things right because those are the simple things but the biggest things we have in life and as long as we're grateful God will always help us and besides that always believe in yourself okay believe in you and know that you are capable and amazing things will happen okay so now let's get to the colors now I talk too much sorry <laughs> uh, so the packaging as you saw red with so it's the L'Absolu Rouge collection all these lipsticks are from the line L'Absolu Rouge so it says L'Absolu Rouge with Camilla Quilio and so we created three matte finish colors and the rest is cream colors which i love because it has a lot of uh, pigmentation but it hydrates the lip at the same time okay and so i'm gonna go through quickly with this i'm gonna just apply it on and i'll show you guys how it looks on my lip so you have a better idea of the colors okay i know looking online it's super hard to figure out the colors so just to make it easier for us i'll swatch all of them on my lips so right now I am wearing the beautiful orange on the collection which is Coro de Janeiro and the names of the lipsticks as well I really got inspired by travel lifestyle and my background so you will see like links to Paris California um, to lifestyle and to Brazil which is my hometown so Coro de Janeiro from Rio de Janeiro and it's very a very tropical color but again a color that you can wear any time of the year depending on the eye look that you put so I just did like a cat eye today so it goes with every lip color so this will be a beautiful color for blondes especially uh, blondes are gonna rock these corals that I did on the collection so well and it looks also amazing in brunettes like myself and again, an all skin tones you can possibly think of, especially dark, really dark skin tone. It's gonna look amazing with this. The most fair skin as well, blondes or brunettes, are gonna look beautiful with Coro de Janeiro. 
And the bullet, it is a red bullet uh, going a bit different from what Lancome has now, which is black and gold. So this is red and gold to look beautiful in your vanity, in your makeup table. I mean, if you have like, even if you have just two, it's just gonna stand out in your vanity and look amazing and super feminine. And I love this bullet that you can just press here. It sticks out and you take it out. So this is like therapy. When I have these lipsticks around, Ikaro, my husband, he just stays on like doing this forever. It's so cool, practical. And what we did on the top of the lipstick was we created a lip shape on it which is so cute and so different look at that so you have a lip shape right there and this is one of my favorites for an everyday a lot of times you see me wearing this type of color and i haven't been telling you guys like answering because it's already for my collection it's like the perfect coral when you want to go out on your everyday to work and you want a little bit of color on your lips but it's nude it's chic and sophisticated and it'll also work for night looks with like a smoky eye with a super dramatic cat eye and this again will be beautiful in blondes and brunettes I know blondes have like such a problem with when choosing like lipstick colors because if they you know they have this way of thinking that it will be too much with the blonde hair so this type of color oh will be perfect and also on dark skin tone it will look really beautiful as like a super nude and this is Ipanema sunrise or also linking to Brazil. And this one is cream finish, different from the last one, which was matte finish. I don't wanna stop applying it. Aha! I love this color. Now this one is a really beautiful, now this one is day and night, and it's the only lipstick that we did with a little bit of shimmer. And again, this is beautiful. I, I would recommend you do a little bit of a liner so you can line your lip first, so you can shape your lip first. Did I say it's cream finish, shimmery, has some shimmer in it, more of a corally pink. And this will be beautiful also in your everyday, depending um, what you want, because it still gets a little bit of color, but shimmer, so it's more fun. And you can do it at night with like a black smoky eye. It's gonna be so beautiful. I cannot wait to do that look for you guys. And so it's very versatile, day and night, okay? This might be just a little bit too light for darker skin tone, but medium to dark, uh, olive and lighter skin tone, fair skin tone would be perfect, okay? And this is like, it gives you like that glossy effect, but it will stay on your lips. So love this. So this is, so this is day and night. And now to Parisian nude. Ah, I love this color. It's like, I am really happy with this because it's that colder nude, um, more grayish nude that you can wear with more strong, colorful eyes or brown, black, smoky eyes, or also on your everyday. But it's the perfect color for your strong eyes, to pair with your strong eyes or colorful outfits. Um, so this is one of my favorite colors in the collection because it's a nude that I wear a lot. And it runs out of, you know, the corally nudes or the pinkish nudes. It's really like a true grayish nude. And this is Parisian nude, the chicest color on the collection. This is last minute. This is literally last minute lipstick. The lipstick that you're gonna take in your bag and just touch up touch up during the day, work days. It's a perfect color for work days because it's nude, it has just a tiny bit of color. Uh, it, this is like for when you wanna be just neutral. Simple, sophisticated, and it's a nude that compares to Parisian nude, but Parisian nude is more gray undertone. And this one, and last minute, is more of a coral undertone. So it's gonna look good in every skin color as well because it has a little touch of color, okay? So this will also be like the perfect nude for a darker skin tone, like very nude that you can wear with like dark eyes and very fair skin. It's gonna have a little bit more of a color, which is beautiful. And this is also cream finish. And yes, you will be wearing this a lot when you get it because it's very versatile nude and this is carioca summer a beautiful brown nude um i say nude because it can be nude or not on a dark skin tone this is gonna be beautiful 
like for your everyday pretty much on me olive skin which is medium to dark skin tone which on me which is olive skin medium skin tone it looks like just a beautiful brownish nude color it has a little bit of it has like grayish and pinks in the background and it's a lipstick that i will wear with nothing else and it's a lipstick that i will wear exactly on this makeup today like a cat eye a little bit of peachy or pink blush and the lipstick it's just so beautiful you look more like strong more serious in a way but very sexy and this of course will work on a lighter skin tone but it will be like a darker color okay i really love this and it's called carioca summer <laughs> So this is California Burgundy. I really love this color. I mean, of course I love all those colors. Those are the colors I chose for my collection. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just so happy with the results on these, you guys. Uh, cream finish. And this is also a color that you can wear on every day. You can wear at night with stronger makeup or not i mean it will go more with like more bare makeup it will look more beautiful like even a cat eye more simple cat eye like today or just mascara and this lipstick this has a pink undertone as you can see so it's very feminine super beautiful this like will also be like a great color for you to give to your mom i mean my mom loves those type of colors my mother-in-law as well even the one i showed before carioca summer uh because they're a bit darker and um it just makes your lips stand out more it's not so nude i feel like more mature women they want uh something that will make their lips stand out and not so nude the nudes are more for like the younger generation i mean i consider myself a younger generation still even though I'm 30. I love nudes, but I also love these colors. It's just like, it's for the days you, that you don't want to do much on your eyes and you're just going to go out with this and look amazing. So this is California Burgundy. I mean, I could not do a lipstick collection and not do reds on it. I love red so much that I created two colors for you guys. And with this being a holiday collection as well, I had to do red because we want to wear red on Christmas, especially Thanksgiving. And it's such a powerful color. Every woman, in my opinion, looks amazing in red. It's just about getting your right color for your un for your skin tone. And so when creating red, I was super picky about it. I really did a research to see what what's the best selling reds out there and combined with the sh with the red undertones that works for myself. And so I created two amazing colors. One is cream and one is matte, okay? And so this is Rouge Empire, which is the color that Lancome thinks will sell the most because it's the type of red that sells a lot. Uh, so cream finish, a lot of people don't like the red in matte finish. I do, I love both, but the cream one is sexier because it has a little bit of shine. And so this is Rouge Empire, the red that's gonna rock your world, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and get ready I have another red for you second red is matte finish and the name is Copacabana which links to Brazil as well and yeah this is an absolutely beautiful red that will also work on every skin tone because it has a pink undertone to it and it's matte finish it will last long on your lips it's I mean, it's the red that I wear the most, this type of red, okay? Uh, it's amazing on olive skin tone. It's just gonna make you look amazing, baby, with like light brown smoky eye, gold, or the go-to cat eye. This is Copacabana. <laughs> and so the last color, I almost called this color Latina Pink because I think it's a color that my Latina girls will love uh, as olive skin tone. This looks so beautiful on but I didn't want to call it that because it's a color that will look amazing on every skin tone on fair skin tone will be like a super statement pink on darker skin tone it's just gonna be like subtle but a beautiful color on this like I am already thinking of my friends who have darker skin tone I cannot wait to see them trying it it is matte finish as well so as you saw there's only three matte finish lipsticks so they are matte finish, but very comfortable on the lips. Like you can move it. It feels more velvety than like hard to put on, you know? 
So that's it you guys, these are the colors. I really hope you liked my swatches review video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Your comments mean so much to me, so I want your feedback. If you already got the lipsticks, let me know as well. What color you got, if you loved it or not, I want to know your feedback. It is really important to me. And if you do buy the lipsticks and you post a picture wearing it, a selfie or anything, or just a photo of the lipstick, Please use the hashtag Lancome X Camilla Coelho, Lancome by Camilla Coelho, so that I can see it and repost it on my Insta stories and Instagram. Your love and support means so much to me, and I really, really, really hope you guys are happy with this collection and that you get to try it at least one color. So, yeah, thank you again for all your love. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Stay beautiful, stay kind, stay positive, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll leave the link to uh, all the lipsticks down below so you can go to it it's sold at Sephora online which ships super quick and uh, some stores which I'll give you the list of the stores as well okay so I'll see you next time stay beautiful Mwah. bye